Shawn Michaels vs Stone Cold Steve Austin isn't a story about a rivalry, it's about Austin's journey to the WWF Championship. His feud with Bret Hart made people take notice. He had gotten extremely popular as fans started favouring the anti-heroes while rejecting the more typical babyfaces the WWF would present. When Bret and the Hart Foundation left, Austin feuded with The Rock over the IC belt, but Stone Cold made it clear that he had bigger fish to fry, even going as far as to forfeit the IC title in order to compete for the WWF title. And Austin's goal became a reality when he won the 1998 Royal Rumble, earning him a shot at Shawn Michaels' WWF Championship in the WrestleMania main event. Shawn Michaels, meanwhile, has been going through a ton of turbulence that went into overdrive following a back injury. Shawn's scheduled matches were cancelled following his casket match against The Undertaker at the Rumble, and Shawn was in a real bad place while on the road to WrestleMania. The back injury would ultimately lead to Shawn making the decision to step away from the ring and retire for good, but he had to drop the belt in this WrestleMania match. It's been reported that things were touch and go in the weeks leading up to Mania, and there were worries about Shawn being Shawn and refusing to work the match, but he got there in the end and he'd end up having this match while in a lot of clearly visible pain. It was said that Undertaker was sitting in Gorilla taping his fists before the entrances, sending a message that Shawn better do what's best for WWF and do the job as intended. For years Michaels didn't know about this and he even asked Taker about it and Taker jokingly said it didn't happen, but on Steve Austin's Broken Skull sessions, Taker did indeed confirm that he was on standby if the match didn't go as planned, so that gives us an example of how serious this was. Let's not forget about Mike Tyson either, Tyson was a big deal back in the 90s and his involvement in this main event got a lot of press attention. In storyline, Tyson would join D-Generation X after he felt disrespected by Austin during Mike's first Raw appearance, so the odds are firmly stacked against Stone Cold tonight from a storyline perspective. This is a fascinating match for sure and one that I don't think gets talked about enough. Michaels being so insufferable during this time period completely takes away from the fact that he worked this match while dealing with a career threatening injury. The dirt sheet worthy stories of Sean possibly not wanting to do business in his personal and professional downward spiral completely takes away from the fact that a legend of the business was about to have what he thought was his final match and the WWF were about to lose a guy who, I think, was the best in ring performer they had left. Times were changing, the guys at the top of the cards were changing, and this WrestleMania main event would usher in a new era for the WWF that would quickly lead to Raw beating WCW Nitro in the weekly television ratings. So let's check out the WrestleMania 14 main event, Shawn Michaels vs Stone Cold Steve Austin. Mike Tyson comes out to the ring first and he doesn't get a great ovation. The crowd boo the newest member of D-Generation X as he gets ready to be the special enforcer for this matchup. We see Steve Austin walking backstage and the crowd pops. The glass shatters and the fleet center goes into a frenzy. Stone Cold makes his way to the ring to make history. He and Tyson share words in the ring and things get a little heated, but it does look like Tyson's having fun in there. The audience aren't burnt out and they aren't tired, they're hyped up for this WrestleMania main event. We see HBK walking backstage along with Hunter in China, and Sean looks uncharacteristically nervous, all things considered who could blame him. He says this one's for you Earl as he gets ready to walk into the arena, and then Chris Warren and the DX band begin playing the D-Generation X theme song. It's remarkable how Sean's demeanour changes when he steps out into the arena. He went from looking a bit nervous to looking absolutely pumped up and in a way, he looks like he's got a chip on his shoulder, he looks angry and he looks too ready. This is one of my favourite Shawn Michaels entrances because it's so different than the usual dancing and showman stuff that we're used to. It's like he knows this is it, yet he knows this shouldn't be it, he's still the man. The dust settles, Tyson takes his place on the outside, the bell rings and Sean starts messing around with Austin. He's prancing around the ring and being an asshole so Steve Austin flips him off, this gets a great pop from the audience. Sean's able to stick Austin twice to start things off, Austin gets frustrated so he chases Sean out of the ring. When the two get back inside, HBK takes a forearm shot to the head and then Sean gets sent from pillar to post while getting his head rammed into the top turnbuckles. Austin has to pull HBK back into the ring by his tights and Stone Cold continues to attack while HBK's bare ass hangs out. Austin backdrops HBK out of the ring and 
Hunter doesn't do much to break the fall. Sean lands on his back, and Triple H is gonna buy Sean some time by attacking Austin on the outside. Stone Cold gets thrown into the guardrail, and so Mike Kyoto orders Triple H and China to leave the ringside area and head to the back. Austin attacks Triple H near the entranceway, but Michaels follows. Austin gets taken out with a symbol, and HBK throws Austin into the side of the dumpster from earlier on. The two head back to the ring where Austin counters a flying double axe handle, and then Sean, for whatever reason, tries the upside down corner bump and he takes it with more impact than ever before. This spot right here wrecks HBK. He takes an inverted atomic drop afterwards and he just falls on his back. You can then see the pain on his face when he tries to sit back up. The crowd remain firmly in Austin's corner as he applies a wrist lock. He drops Michaels over the top rope as an Austin champ breaks out. Sean manages to dodge a stunner, but he gets punched off the apron and he lands on the announce desk. Sean gets sent into the ring steps and Austin drops a few elbows on Michaels while he's draped over the apron. Michaels takes another elbow drop inside the ring, and Stone Cold then applies a chin lock. A jawbreaker from Michaels breaks the hold. HBK grimaces as he drags Austin's legs to the ring post, but it's HBK who takes a bump here. Austin goes out and the two fight at the guardrails, but Austin ends up taking a backdrop into the audience and Sean follows this up with a ring bell shot. Back in the ring, Sean lays in the punches while Austin's on the mat, but Sean seriously slowed down here, and it makes you wonder how much longer this can really go on for. The crowd chant Holyfield as Michaels jabs Austin in the corner. Sean performs a snapmare followed by more punches, and in between offense, Sean flips off the audience, making Austin's takedown afterwards get an insanely good reaction. Sean gets thrown over the top rope, but he manages to grab Austin's leg, and the ring post comes into play again. Sean targets the knee over and over again and this continues inside the ropes, but Sean's having difficulty staying on his opponent. He tries drilling Austin's knee into the mat over and over again, and Austin buys him some time by taking a baseball slide that sends Stone Cold into the announce desk. Mike Tyson ends up throwing Stone Cold back inside the ropes, and fans aren't too happy that Tyson put his hands on Austin. Sean performs a chop lock and then he locks in a figure four. Austin manages to reverse the pressure, the move gets broken up, and Stone Cold performs a catapult that only gets him a two count. HBK then applies a sleeper and the referee takes a bump when Austin pushes Sean into the corner. Austin keeps the pressure on though as Jerry Lawler says Tyson needs to get in the ring and take over. Sean takes a back body drop but he answers with a forearm, not looking nearly as good as it usually does. Sean then goes to the top rope and he has to psych himself up a little before jumping off with an elbow drop, but he pulls it off and he says that's it, time for sweet chin music. Sean warms up the band, Austin ducks the superkick, Sean counters a stunner with another superkick attempt, but Austin grabs the foot and we see that stone cold stunner. Tyson gets in the ring, he counts HBK's shoulders to the mat, and the Austin era begins as Stone Cold becomes WWF Champion. Tyson's count was a little fast, but let's not take away from the moment. Stone Cold Steve Austin had finally achieved his goal of becoming WWF Champ and the fans are going crazy. Michaels wakes up and he wants to know what the hell Tyson's thinking. Sean decides he's gonna knock Tyson out, but that doesn't work out too well of course. Sean gets KO'd in the middle of the ring, and Tyson drapes an Austin 316 shirt over Michaels, something HBK wanted written out of the script apparently. The crowd are now huge Mike Tyson fans, there's a big old celebration inside the arena, and Austin leaves with Tyson in the WWF Championship while HBK prepares for retirement. The match, of course, could have been a lot better, but given the circumstances, I don't think you could ask for more really. Not a great WrestleMania main event, but an important WrestleMania main event. Vince McMahon and Steve Austin kick off Raw's war, WCW strategically counter with Jam Master El Dandy vs Juventud Guerrera. Vince McMahon's carrying a new WWF Championship belt. This one would become known to fans as the Big Eagle belt or the Attitude Era belt. You can see the original had a blue strap and the old WWF logo, and only two guys would actually hold this version of the belt. Anyway, the commentators announce a New Age Outlaws vs Cactus Jack and Chainsaw Charlie steel cage match tonight before Vince speaks, and also, there's been rumoured dissension within D-Generation X that we're also gonna hear more about. 
After having some microphone issues, Vince says he's pleased to present the fans the new WWF Champion, the man who won the title last night at WrestleMania, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Austin comes down to the ring carrying the winged eagle, the belt then gets thrown to the canvas as Stone Cold takes his new championship belt and the fans are going absolutely crazy tonight for the new champ. Vince backtracks on what he said prior to WrestleMania. He says he's proud of Austin becoming the new champion and the crowd boos. Vince says together with Stone Cold's charisma and Vince's vision, Stone Cold could become the greatest WWF champion of all time. Austin says he knows Vince hates him. It's okay because Austin hates Vince right back. And there won't be no partnership between Austin and McMahon. Stone Cold can't be molded by Vince McMahon. Vince says he doesn't hate Stone Cold. McMahon is incapable of hate. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Vince says Austin's a great human being, a swell guy, and Vince loves Stone Cold. Austin can't believe what McMahon just said and he wants Vince to repeat it. McMahon says it's a figure of speech and he doesn't actually love Steve Austin, but Stone Cold pushes it and he wants McMahon to say it again. Vince ends up saying it and Austin laughs at his boss. Austin says he loves Vince too. And now that that's out of the way, Stone Cold's gonna continue raising hell and nobody's gonna tell him what to do, and that's the bottom line. Vince says they can do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way is to be flexible and learn to adapt. The hard way is being forced into doing it the easy way. Austin wants 10 seconds to think about this important decision. He takes a moment and he gives his answer by stunning. Vince McMahon once again in the middle of the ring. Stone Cold asks fans if they want him to continue doing things the hard way and the crowd give Austin a oh hell yeah. Awesome, awesome work here and we have got more to come.